Hi, my lovely students. I'm Miss Sara. How are you? I miss you so, so much. Ramadan Kareem. We are going to be here, inshallah, and on all of you, with good health and peace. I want to give you a very small advice. I hope you will continue to study on your own, and I hope you will, because this is Ramadan, we need to use the opportunity, not only to read the Quran, to be able to get to our prayer, and to also help our friends, if there is a place. أنا بحبكن كتير. Okay, now we have to start with exercise number ten, page one hundred twenty-six, part A. Place the number four point seventy thirty-seven on the number line. If you notice that four point thirty here four point forty, it means four point thirty-one, four point thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and here it's Thirty-seven. So here it's four, or I can put it down. Point thirty-seven. Then they tell, they told me to round four point thirty-seven to the nearest ten. This number is closer to four point forty or to four point thirty. Which one? Absolutely, it's closer to four point forty. This is the idea of rounding to make the number easier for me. So rounding four point thirty-seven to the nearest tenth is four point forty. B. Place the decimal number four point three hundred seventy-four on the number line three hundred seventy-four. But here I have four point thirty-seven, not. 4.370 but we took it before if I have a decimal number here I can add a zero or I can remove it because it's unnecessary zero okay 4.370 4.370 one excellent 372 373 374 so four point three hundred seventy four now i have to round this number to the nearest hundred four point thirty three hundred seventy or three thirty seven is it closer to four point thirty eight or four point thirty seven sorry four point three hundred seventy four is it closer to which one absolutely to the left okay it's closer to 4.370, so rounding it to the nearest hundred is 4.37, okay? Okay, now part C, I have to put, place the decimal number 4.3748 on the number line. Here is for, uh, 4. Point 3740 so here it's 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 and here it's 48 okay so here it's 4.3748 now i have to round this number to the nearest thousandth which one is closer to this one or to this one Absolutely, it's closer to this one. So the idea of rounding, instead of saying for 4.3748, it's easier to say it's around 4.3750. 50 is easier than 48. So 4.3750. Okay? Please write them on your copy book. Or you can write this one on your book. Okay, now please move to page 127. Exercise number 11. Choose the correct answer rounding to the nearest thousandth. So I have to round this number to the nearest thousandth. Let's start with the first one. Since I have to round... This one round to the nearest, round to the nearest thousandth, okay? This is the abbreviation, اختصار, round to the nearest thousandth. Since I have to round to the nearest thousandth, I have to circle the digit thousandth. Here it's tenth, hundredth, 
thousand. Then I have to look to the next door or to the next digit. Five or more, I have to add plus one. Four or less, I leave the mess. I don't add like the video. So it's nine, I have to add plus one. It's rounding up. So it will be zero point. I leave these digits the same. Two will be three. And here I can put zero and I can cancel the zero because it's unnecessary zero. Similarly here, where is the thousand digit? Ten hundred thousand. Look the digit after it. Six, five or more. I have to make rounding up. I add plus one. So it will be 2.787. And here I can put a zero and I can remove it. Okay, because it's unnecessary zero. Thousand. Similarly, ten, hundred, thousand. Look at the next digit, five. It's rounding up. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine are rounding up. I add plus one to the circle digit, to my target. I add plus one. So here it will be plus one. So 8.223. The last one, ten, hundred, thousand. So one, look after it. It's eight. It's also rounding up. I have to add. Okay, the last one. As we said, I have to add one rounding up. So it will be 5.272. And here it's zero. It's unnecessary zero. Thank you for watching. Please write them on your copybook. See you next time. And I'm going to give you a homework about rounding numbers. Bye-bye.